Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install Sea of Thieves game from Microsoft Store. Now the first step is to sign out and sign in again on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on the top right here, you can see a profile icon, click on it, then select your account and then click on sign out. Again, click on your profile icon, then click on sign in, select your account, click on continue. Now over here, enter your pin or password over here. And once you're logged in, you can go ahead and try to install the game once again. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can make sure that the date and time is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make sure date and time is correct. And then make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. And then make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on. And then you can sync now. And once that is done, you can go ahead and try to install the game once again. Now the next step is to run Windows Store Troubleshooter. For this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Go to Update and Security, and then click on Troubleshoot, then click on Additional Troubleshooter. Scroll down, at the end here you can see Windows Store Apps, so click on Run the Troubleshooter. And once the troubleshoot is complete, you can go ahead and try to install the game. The next step is to clear Store Cache using WS Reset command. For this, Type in WS Reset in Windows search box. Make a right click on WS Reset Run command. Then click on Run as Administrator. Now over here you will see the black screen. Do not close this black screen. Wait for this black screen to go away. It will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute for this black screen to go away. And once this is gone, you can go ahead and try to open Microsoft Store and then install the game. Actually, once this is closed, it will open the Microsoft Store and then you can try to install the game once again. Now over here you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store and then you can go ahead and try to install the game. The next step is to update Windows 10. For this go to the start menu, click on settings, click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then try to install the game. The next step is to update apps so open Microsoft Store on the top right. Here you can see three dots click on it then click on download and update updates and then click on get updates and once that is done try to install the game. The next step is to reset store app for this again open uh, Windows 10 settings and go to apps in the search box you can go ahead and type in store and then click on Microsoft Store then click on advanced options scroll down here you can see the reset option so click on reset reset and after the reset you can go ahead and try to install the game. The next step is to restart these services that is Windows update Microsoft store install and background intelligence service for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services find microsoft store install service make a right make a double click just make a double click then make sure startup type is set to automatic then click on apply if start is highlighted click on start then click on ok and with microsoft store install service selected over here click on restart and then once this is done, find Windows Update Services, scroll down. Here you can see Windows Update, make a double click. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Then click on Apply. If Start is highlighted, click on Start, then click on OK. With Windows Update selected, click on Restart the service. And once this is done, find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Make sure startup is set to automatic. Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. And once this is done, click on OK and with this selected, click on Restart and then try to install the game. The next step is to run this command. So if you are facing any kind of network related issue while installing the game, for this you can go ahead and run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box and then make a right click on Command Prompt app, then click on Run as Administrator and then click on Yes to allow and then copy command one by one so copy this paste it in the command prompt window and then hit the enter key on the keyboard run the second command paste it over here hit the enter key run the third command hit the enter key and then run the fourth command and then hit the enter key and at last run the last command and then hit the enter key once this is done restart your computer so go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then restart your computer and then try to install the game. The next step is to 
re-register the store for this copy this command and open PowerShell. So make a right click on Windows start menu, then click on Windows PowerShell admin. Make sure that you're clicking on admin. So you have to click on Windows PowerShell admin, then click on yes to allow and then paste the first command. All the commands are provided in the video description and then hit the enter key. And once that is done, run the second command over here. And then hit the enter key and then you can try to use store. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. So for this, copy this command. Again, open PowerShell. Make a right click on the start menu. Then click on Windows PowerShell admin. Make sure that you are opening PowerShell as an admin. Then click on yes to allow. And then paste the command, the first command, which will go ahead and uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. So after this, if you try to open Store, if you click on it, it will not open up. Or this is gone. This will be gone after you run this command. This will uninstall Microsoft Store and after this go to the start menu, click on the power icon, restart your computer and then run this command which will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. So copy the second command and hit the enter key over here. So again you have to open Windows PowerShell and then you have to run this command. And once you run the second command, this command in PowerShell, you, can, you should be able to open Microsoft Store. So you can go ahead and type in store in Windows search box and then click on Microsoft Store and it will open up. Now, still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and run these two commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator, then click on yes to allow, and then run the first command over here, and then hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, so make sure that this is 100% complete, once this is 100% complete, run the second command. So copy the next command and then again paste it over here and then hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and then try to use store. The next step is to run inetcpl.cpl command. So go ahead and type in inetcpl.cpl, then click on inetcpl.cpl and then go to the advanced tab, scroll down. Over here you can see use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. 1 so if anyone is unchecked over here so make sure that everything is checked so make sure that you put a check on the box which says use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3 then click on apply ok and then try to use to. Now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and update your Windows 10 using media creation tool so for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website and over here you will see media creation tool so scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and once the download is complete run the exe file and once you run the exe file you will see this screen which says agree to the terms so click on accept by default upgrade this pc now will be selected so click on next and then it will go ahead and download windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take time once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and after the installation you can log into your computer and then open Microsoft Store and you should be able to download and install Sea of Thieves on your computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.